everybody. Welcome to today's virtual wild encounter. My name is Liz and this is Pepper, the Rhode Island Red Chicken. So as you can see, I am wearing a mask. Um, here at the zoo, we are following all CDC guidelines. Um, and as may, you may have heard, uh, recently some non-primate mammals have found out they can uh, contract coronavirus. So even though we are following all the CDC recommendations, we are taking the extra steps and following them for all of our mammals here at the zoo. So at home, you guys should also do this. When you're out taking your dogs for a walk, if you see other people, definitely keep six feet away and don't let other people pet your dogs. So since our moderator, Whitney, is about 10 feet away, I'm gonna go ahead and take my mask off. All right, so like I said, Pepper is a Rhode Island red chicken. Now, he does look different from the other chickens we have had on here, um, and that is because he is this really pretty red color. Now, as his name suggests, these guys were um, kind of bred in the state of Ro Rhode Island in the early 1800s. And in fact, these guys are the only chickens that are a state bird. Now, Pepper here is a rooster, so he is a male chicken. And we know that because he has this really big comb on his head and a nice big waddle under his chin. Now, girl chickens will also have these, but they are a lot smaller. And he also does this thing where he will crow. Now, a lot of people think that they just do that in the morning time, but Pepper here will crow all day long. Sometimes it's to let the other chickens know, hey, he is here. Um, other times I think he just wants to hear himself. Now these guys were bred um, so people could have big chickens for meat, but they also lay a lot of eggs. So Pepper here doesn't lay any eggs because he's a boy, but the females will lay anywhere from 150 all the way up to 300 eggs during a year. Now these guys, as you may see, are eating some worms, but they are what we call omnivores. So they'll eat anything from worms all the way up to fruit. Now these Guys are eating mealworms right now, and those are some of their favorites, but they also really love crickets and blueberries. Now, these guys are really good, like I said, to have around for meat and eggs, but they're also great to have around if uh, you have a farm. Uh, they're great pest control. So as you can see, he likes to eat bugs, but what they'll do is they'll walk around and they'll scratch at the ground and find all kinds of things. All right. Ready for some questions? I think we are. We have some uh, friends already looking in here at us who are saying hello from all over. Um, we've got a friend Shelby watching from Lexington. We've got another friend, Christina, watching from Smith Mill, Mississippi. And Tracy Todd just wants to say hi, Liz. Hi, thanks for watching, guys. I'm so glad we can reach out to you guys this way since you can't come visit us here at the zoo. So we've already answered uh, one question of what you are feeding him. But Michelle Marquis would like to know, oh, uh, Owen, at age 10, would like to know, what is his favorite snack? Ooh, good question, Owen. So Pepper's favorite treats are probably going to be a tie between crickets and he really loves peas and corn. Oh. So make sure you eat all your veggies out there, just like Pepper. Now I have to tell you something cute. Uh, Lily and Claire here are some of our usuals, and they're hosting their own uh, virtual wild encounters at home. Ooh. And they like to know, does he fly? Does he fly? Nope, so chickens don't really need to fly. Most of the food that they eat is gonna be right on the ground. Now what they can do is kind of like a short burst up into the air, maybe if they wanted to get up and roost somewhere like in a tree. Um, and they like to do that at night to stay away from some of their predators, but they can't really fly. Good question. Uh, Wyatt H5 wants to let you know that he's got a chicken who kind of looks like that, um, but her name is Redneck. <gasps> These guys are really common. A lot of people have these as pets, and this is one of the more common kind of chickens people have. <laughs> well, I like that he's making his way around there. Uh, Abby, age 10, why are his tail feathers green? That is a good question. So I think it might just be the light hitting him, but Pepper, uh, like you said, is a Rhode Island red. So his color goes from anywhere from this really pretty brownish red color all the way to a beetle green. Oh, there you can really see it. Yeah, a little bit more light there for you. Those worms. Oh, we got so many people just talking about how much they miss us here. Uh, we miss y'all too. Let's see, uh, ONH Tim with another question. How fast do they move or run? 
Chickens can run pretty fast. Luckily, we do some training with these guys. So what we do is target train. So what we'll do is kind of like tap on the ground and they'll come over and we'll feed them a nice worm. So luckily you don't have to chase these guys, but if you've ever had to chase a chicken, they're pretty fast. <laughs> okay. Uh, Alara age seven wants to know if they are the leader of their pack and do they chase kids? Um, I know some chickens chase kids. Luckily ours don't really chase us. Um, cause they, I think enjoy being around us cause we do a lot of training. Um, and we hear Pepper lives with his four brothers, which isn't too normal that a bunch of roosters would live together, but I think they kind of all think they're leaders of the pack. <laughs> I like that we're getting a nice, nice big shot there of his, some of his butt. <laughs> oh, we got a friend. Hi, all the way from Germany. Oh my goodness. Hello. My six year old Asen wants to know, can a rooster lay eggs? Roosters can't lay eggs because they are boys, but hens, those are going to be the girl chickens, they definitely can lay eggs. Um, in this particular species, uh, the hens would lay anywhere from 150 to around 300 eggs in an entire year. Now, I remember last time when we had Strawberry, all the chickens were named after beetle songs? Yep, so Strawberry is what we call uh, a brother to Mr. Pepper here, but... They just live together. So this is Sergeant Pepper after Sergeant Pepper the song. But we just call him Pepper for short. So our other chickens we have that are named after beetles are going to be Strawberry. And then we have Jojo. And then one of us decided to go rogue and we named the chicken Goose. So here at the zoo, like I said, we do a lot of training with our chickens. Um, and when you guys will get to come back to the zoo, you will be able to see them in our shows. There we go. There's so many worms over here. Man. So that's a good idea. Maybe talk a little bit about um, interpretation program. A lot of people kind of get confused on where these guys are. They're the same ones at the farm. So these guys are separate from our farm and because they are ambassador chickens. And these guys live behind the birdhouse but they come out for our shows and education programs, kind of like you're seeing right here. But during um, our ambassador program, we are interpreters. So if you've ever been in the zoo and you've seen a show or you've seen somebody just standing out with an animal, that's what we do. So we are zookeepers, but we get to, we're a little bit special because we get to, get to come out and talk to all of you guys. Um, and that's one of my favorite parts of the job is because we get to teach you about these animals so you learn a little bit more about them and i think that helps people care a little bit more about these animals especially if you get to see them up close see all that target training right there that's awesome well we have just friends from all over liz you're so popular today and so <laughs> oh my goodness he's so excited pepper is so excited because ashley says hi from round rock texas We've got Richie who says, you are just a handsome bird. He is very handsome. And Jade, age 10, would like to know, will they peck you? Um, <coughs> well then, Pepper. Um, sometimes they do peck us, and I think most of the time it's on accident, because we usually come in with lots of bugs, so you may see him peck on accident, like I was saying. But they're pretty friendly. Other chickens I probably wouldn't go mess with. <laughs> All right, note to self. And we've got uh, Denise, hi, from Scotland. Are you enjoying uh, having the zoo nice and quiet for a wee change? Um, yes and no. No, because I love inter interacting with guests and that's one of my favorite parts of the job. Yes, because we get to work on all kinds of special projects for our animals, but I definitely am ready for people to be back at the zoo. And we're getting some questions from uh, some friends here about how long uh, the life <laughs> Yes, Pepper, <clears throat> what would you like to say? What was that question? Um, they want to know how long will they live? So since he is under our care, he may live a little bit longer than chickens out in the wild, but I believe anywhere from seven to 10 years is average for these guys. All right. And um, Abby H10, do we happen to know how old our friend Pepper is? Yep. So he was hatched right in September. So he is about seven months old now. <sighs> Oh, goodness. So just like strawberry then. Yep, they were all hatched at the same time, and we got them into the interpreter program when he could fit in the size of our hand. Oh, well, we'll have to snag a picture later and share that online with all For of you. For sure. Okay, we've got Christina who wants to know, what makes his feathers so shiny on top? 
on top. So I think it's just because the light is hitting him just right. The lighting is amazing in here. But these guys take really good care of their feathers. So we give them lots of enrichment at the zoo, but I think their favorite is we give them a big pan of either sand or dust. And what they're gonna do is roll around in the sand and that's actually how they take a bath. So he probably is just really good at taking uh, dust baths. Really? A, oh, is that how you're showing us how you take a dust bath, Pepper? Uh, Jessica would like to know, do they sleep in the evening? They do. So what they're going to do, um, they will get up kind of on a perch and they will do what we call roosting. But we also give them little houses that they can sit in that has like uh, wool, like wood wool. It's kind of like hay, but you can wash it out. It's pretty neat. Oh, that's interesting. Now here's a, an interesting one. O and H10 back again. Uh, since their eyes are on the side of their head, can they see in 360 degrees? Ooh, that is a good question, Owen. I don't think they can see a 360. Um, I'll have to look that up. Got some comments here on Twitter uh, from Marty Parks. They just love our zoo and keep up the good work. Way to go, Liz and Pepper. Thank you. We love you guys, too. Uh, we have another question here. Um, they're just asking about different species. What about bats, and do we have them? And the answer is yes, we do. We but. do have bats. So when you guys get to come back to the zoo, check out our uh, Animals of the Night House. And we have a whole bat flight. They're really cool. I'm not sure how many we have in there. I know there's a few different species. But my personal favorite are definitely the vampire bats. Oh, yeah, they are very cool to watch. Okay, we've got some... More kids come in here. Oh, we definitely got some usuals here, Liz. Caitlin, age eight, and Ian, age five. Um, what is their favorite or least favorite food? Hmm, definitely what you see here on the table is probably going to be his favorite, which is mealworms, but chickens love any kind of bug. Their least favorite, I'm not sure if they have a least favorite. Chickens will eat pretty much anything that you give them. <laughs> but I'd have to say maybe greens. Now, do they eat, that kind of leads us to another question here from Denise. Do they like any fruit or vegetables? Yeah, so these guys definitely love blueberries. That's probably their favorite fruit. Um, but sometimes we'll throw random fruit in there like apples. And it's just to give a little variety to their diet. Hmm. That's pretty interesting. Um, Lily and Claire would like to know, how old was he when he got his adult feathers? Adult feathers. So I want to say he got these feathers he has now and a couple months old so when they're really uh, first born they are just really fuzzy um, and they get these pretty these feathers pretty early on I'm gonna come back here man I know he's moving so much I'm like trying to <laughs> keep up with which camera can see him I'm glad he's moving around and he's got a lot to say today over here man well let's get back to our questions um <clears throat> When can we expect baby chicks at Once Upon a Farm? Let's see. I usually think those are there in the spring and summer. So when you guys are allowed to come back, definitely keep checking in periodically. And they're going to be in the big expo building down at the farm. That's exactly where Pepper here came from. All right. And Ms. Uh, <coughs> sure. Ms. Becca would like to know, what time do they sleep? These guys usually sleep at nighttime, just like we do. Um, and they rise up really early, so you might have heard that uh, roosters on the farm will crow really early in the morning. Um, and they do, but as you see here, Pepper likes to crow all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing. Uh, Candace and Ari Mom want to know how long can he go without eating? I don't know how long they can go. We definitely feed him every day here at the zoo, and chickens are... <laughs> pretty resourceful so even if he was out in the wild they they would be able to dig around with these uh claws that you see on their feet and they would usually find bugs but we feed them every day here at the zoo and i just want to address those asking for a uh, closed captioning we are working on that right now um <coughs> our feature for live videos isn't currently working and we have alerted facebook so just so you know we are uh, doing the best we can but hang on tight for us and we'll get that solved as soon as we can Oh, back to our questions. Caleb, age eight, wants to know, how do they get their colors? How do they get their colors? Well, they were actually bred this way. I can't remember exactly which chickens these guys were bred with to get this pretty red color. <coughs> but they took different kinds of chickens, uh, kind of like there's different kinds of dogs, and they bred them, and you get this really pretty red color. 
Okay, we've got some more fun here. Um, I'm not super sure if I'm saying and understanding this question correctly. We've got Presley H six wants to know if the roosters um, love with the hens. So maybe love being with the hens. <laughs> so I guess that's a yes, Pepper. <laughs> so actually, Pepper uh, lives with just three other brothers, so he doesn't actually spend any time with hens. But I'm sure he would love it. <laughs> All right, ONH10, back with another question. How many different species of chickens are there? Oh, yeah? Well, that sounds like a good answer, but can you I translate say that, there's Liz? anywhere from 300 to 500. I cannot remember the exact number, but there is a whole lot of different kinds of chickens, and they range anywhere from little bitty chickens all the way up to about two feet tall. Oh, wow. All right, I have another friend here. <laughs> Well, Pepper definitely likes being the star of the show. Oh, yes. <laughs> Do you ever feed them bananas? Bananas? I don't believe we have ever fed these guys bananas, but I believe you can. All right. Uh, Jade H10 does want to know again, uh, why are you wearing gloves? Just um, So we touch a lot of things throughout the zoo during the day. So we're keeping these gloves on um, just to keep ourselves um, safe with all the stuff happening. <laughs> Not just not because I'm touching it or anything. And of course, Pepper really seems to agree. <laughs> All right, we've got a friend here, Ella Wooden, on YouTube. He's got a lot of fun questions. Uh, how long does it take to hatch a chicken? Hatch a chicken? I believe it's around 21 days. Oh wow! And uh, she also liked to know: um, Can roosters mate with <laughs> other with other males? No, they cannot. All right, let's. Keep on, we're going to switch back over here. Um, I think it's Ashlyn, age eight, wants to know, uh, is he mean? No, Pepper is actually pretty nice. Um, sometimes roosters can be kind of mean. Um, but uh, Pepper here is one of my personal favorites because he is um, very outgoing. And when he sees his keepers, he gets very excited and runs to the door to greet us. Oh, that sounds really sweet. All right, RMH5 and Candace age 10 what other animals do they like to play with? I don't think Pepper has ever really met another animal. Um, we do keep him <coughs> in what we call raptor run. So where he lives, there are um, owls, and we have a hawk and some kookaburras, but he's never met any other animals. He'd probably be very interested in meeting some, though. Maybe from, like, the other side of a glass or something. We have a friend here from Pam saying that he's hilarious and they love the close-ups. Oh, yeah. Pepper likes to talk a whole lot, as you can see. <laughs> oh, yeah. That makes it kind of much. If he's going to go back down, though, I'm going to stay back over here. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know if this has been asked. What is the red floppy part on the body of his face? So maybe since we're getting some of these questions again about um, what we're looking at and names and what's the comb and all that let's go that introduction just one more time yep so if you missed it this is pepper and he is a seven month old rhode island red chicken so what you see up top is called a comb kind of like what you comb your hair with um and his is really big because he is a rooster and what you see underneath his chin that is called a waddle and uh girl chickens also have these but since he is a rooster his is going to be a little more big so no one's asked but i always was curious is there a reason why they have combs and waddles? Does it serve any purpose? Probably to impress the ladies. Um, any kind of male bird is usually going to be a little more bright and colorful or have a bigger waddle to get the attention of uh, a girl chicken or a girl bird. Well, our friend uh, Karen says that my cat Snow said thank you. She is really <laughs> enjoying today's segment. <laughs> I'm not sure if Pepper enjoyed that comment. I don't know. I love cats, so I'm glad your cat is enjoying this. We do ask if you take a picture of your cat watching the show, share it with us on uh, stories, and we'll be happy to share it. I would think we talked a little bit about dust baths earlier, but Danny does want to know, how do they clean themselves? <coughs> yep, so these guys, what we give them, oh, or out in the wild or on a farm, uh, they would probably find a nice <coughs> dusty or sandy area, and what they're going to do is just get down in the ground and kind of roll around all over, and that actually helps clean their feathers. Oh, and Caden at four wants to know, does he like to play with people? He definitely 
enjoys coming out and interacting with his keepers. Um, we bring him out for shows and he does training. So I think he likes to come out uh, and see new places and uh, especially around the zoo and on our stage because this is his first show season. So it's been pretty interesting to see them out on the stage this year. Uh, Pepper, I think you have a fan with Owen here at age 10 with yet another fun question. Oh, thank you, Owen. What is the strangest, weirdest thing Pepper has ever done? Also, um, he loves how much Pepper's talking. Oh, goodness. The strangest thing. Probably when Pepper, like, uh, I've been cleaning his enclosure. <laughs> Yep, you remember the time, Pepper. Uh, I believe when I was bending down once to grab something, Pepper jumped on my back. That was probably the weirdest thing he's ever done. Did he want to get down? He just kind of wanted to just chill, hang out. I'm not sure what he's doing. Roosters like to roost. Well, pretty much all chickens like to get up somewhere so they can hang out. Um, that's maybe what he was doing. <laughs> but it was definitely weird. <laughs> uh, Presley, age six, like to know, does he take naps? They do. I don't know if he naps during the day, but they definitely sleep at night. Uh, here's a fun one. Uh, Denise, can you cuddle him? Can you cuddle him? Um, we don't cuddle these guys here at the zoo, um, but I know <coughs> yeah, uh, people that have had chickens on their own farm that they have definitely fallen asleep in their arms or they will sit on their shoulders. Okay, we're Caitlin and Ian are back, and I do see Mom is now rocking a top fan Memphis Zoo badge. Congratulations. Uh, do they shed their feathers? Um, so all birds usual uh, will do the thing. Oh yeah, where they are called molting. So sometimes they will lose some of their feathers, but they'll grow new ones in. All right. So Avery H6 wants to come around. Pepper was hatched here at the zoo. He was. So if you've ever been down to our farm area, we have this building called the Expo Building. Um, usually in the spring and summertime, we'll have off to one of the sides eggs. Uh, and that is where Pepper came from. <clears throat> Well, um, Lee liked to let us know that his pug, Jasper, is very disturbed by Pepper's crowing. <laughs> and Pe Pepper does not seem to care. <laughs> He's very chatty. <laughs> he is very chatty. Well, sorry about that, Jasper. Uh, Caden's back, age four. Oh, we got a jokester out of our little four-year-old. He wants to know if the lions ever play with the roosters. Not here at the zoo, and I don't think Pepper would like that too much. <laughs> My, let's see, Angel wants to know that, oh, I don't think Pepper is going to like that either. Aaron, age four, wants to know, how can they crow? So just like we have vocal cords, these guys have vocal cords as well. Um, and their beaks, I believe, kind of amplify that sound. Angela wants to let us know that her two and a half year old uh, is loving hearing Pepper and mimic <laughs> Yes, just like that, Pepper. And he's mimicking you at home. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, it's enrichment for you guys at home, too. Just like we give these guys enrichment. Uh, I think my cats are watching, too, so this is probably very interesting for them. <laughs> well, Angel, we hope you post a video online and make sure to tag us at Memphis Zoo. Let's just keep on going down here. Oh, Clara A10 wants to know, why are their feet yellow? That's a good question. So, all chickens have a little bit different colored legs. Some chickens even have feathers all the way down their leg. And it's just uh, what they are bred from. So he was bred to have yellow legs. Now here's an interesting one. Uh, I know you'll be at least answer for your own department. Our friend Pokey in my pocket on YouTube wants to know how many chickens do you guys have? So we have four chickens, no, not four chickens, seven chickens in our interpreter department. So we have two Rhode Island Reds, just like Pepper here. We have four, let's see. Orpington chickens, and then we have a big fluffy white chicken. Her name is Bertha, and she is a Cochin chicken. So seven altogether. Do you think you know how many are at Once Upon a Farm? Oh my goodness. <laughs> there are so many down there. You would definitely have to go check them out, but they have one. It's a striped chicken. I'm not, I can't remember the name, but they are very cool to look at. All right. And Lena just wants to tell us that she just loves our zoo. And Pepper Pep says thank you. <laughs> That's right. Uh, here's a phone for you, Liz. And guys, we are getting to the end of our segments. We'll get as many questions as we can. Uh, Jessica would like to know, what is Pepper trained to do? So that's a great question. So we train all of our animals here at the zoo, whether it's to do medical procedures or husbandry. Um, so since Pepper is in the interpreter department and he goes to do shows, uh, we like to do what we call target training. <laughs> 
So we can tap him different places and he can follow us. We are also have crate trained him and we are training him to step up on our hand. So we can get him to walk on our hand and we can walk around with him. But chickens are very, very smart. A lot of times when you just first start training an animal, what you will get is a chicken. So when he came here as a little bitty chick, we actually did start training him. And what you're gonna do is, well, what we've done is we clicker train him. So, oh yeah. So you, clickers that you can get at like Petco and you use on your dogs. We do exactly that for Pepper. You're gonna fall off the table, buddy. <laughs> All right, um, we got another jokester here back with Owen Age 10. Does Pepper know why the chicken crossed the road? Oh, Pepper, do you know why? I don't think Pepper knows why. <laughs> Maybe because there was delicious bugs on the other side. And Caden Age 4 would like to know, if Pepper were to ever get lost, would he be able to find his way back home? Hmm. I don't think Pepper ever would get lost because he, where he lives, it's pretty hard for any of them to get out. Uh, but... But I believe in farms, chickens are pretty good about finding their way back home at night. But I hope Pepper never gets lost. May H4 wants to know, does Pepper think he's an alarm clock? I think Pepper just likes to hear himself talk sometimes. He's very loud. Probably the loudest all of, out of all of our roosters. Well, he definitely likes the camera the most. He is right here front and center. I think he can see himself in the camera, so he's very interested. In that. <laughs> Caden H4 wants to know if Pepper can fly. So chickens really can't fly like a lot of other birds can, um, just because most of their food that they eat is on the ground, but they can do a little short burst to fly up into like a tree branch to perch, but can't really fly. All right, guys, like I said, we're getting to the end of our segments. We're going to catch as many questions as we can. We do have some jokesters on Twitter talking about uh, what a pretty rooster and how they like ranch on the side, so I think we know what they're hinting at. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Pan wants to tell you what a beautiful chicken you are, Mr. Pepper. Oh, thank you. I, Pepper very much appreciates that. Um, I think that we've hit most of the questions. Oh, there is one for you, Liz, and that's where we're kind of into here with Pepper. Uh, Denise would like to know, what animals do you work with? That is a great question. So in our, what we call our interpreter department, we have anything from a, like a chicken you see here. We have things like tarantulas and snakes. Uh, but we also have things like goats and owls. So we have a ton of different animals we work with, and chickens are definitely one of my favorite. Um, so thank you guys so much for tuning in to our virtual wild encounter, and I hope to see you guys uh, next time. <laughs>